Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a walrus, which was another request. I get an awful lot of requests, so I'm working through them as quickly as I can. I designed the walrus for Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast to go on a baby blanket. Take a look at all the beautiful things she makes. I'll have a link to her YouTube channel in the description below. I'll be crocheting it in these grey colours today, but in Katona cotton. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 17cm by 17cm or 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches. This medium wool rust crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 11.5 cm by 11.5 cm or 4.5 inches by 4.5 inches and the small wool rust crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8 cm by 8 cm or 3.25 inches by 3.25 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today. To make it easier for you to see, I've got 393 charcoal, 242 metal grey, 074 mercury, 106 snow white and 162 black coffee. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and embroider the black of the eye. The head and body are worked in one piece. I'm going to start at the top of the head. I've got my 242 the metal grey and I start with four chain. For row 1 I work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put your hook in the stitch the second from the hook and bring up a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops. We need one more single crochet in that stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches so after our two single crochet into the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch We'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch,
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the nine stitches. For row 5 we're going to start with 2 chain and we turn. We're going to work 2 half double crochet in the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. We need one more half double crochet in that same stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two half double crochet in the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn, and we work one single crochet into each of the eleven stitches. So a single crochet in each stitch. For bow 7 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow weight we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 13 stitches.
For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn, we work three single crochet into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 15 stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. I'm starting on the back now, just sloping down there. For row 12 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 16 stitches For row 13 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 17 stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 18 stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 19 stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, then two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 21 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 22 stitches. For bow 19 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 23 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 24 stitches.
For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Next we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. So a single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. Now I've got two stitches left, into the next stitch I work two half double crochet and I'm going to work two double crochet into the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet you put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. We need one more double crochet in that stitch. And that's the first 21 rows done. In the next row I'm going to join the charcoal just at the end for the end stitch on this edge of the row. So I'll get my charcoal ready and I'll be back. For row 22 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then I work one single crochet into each of the next 23 stitches. Now I've worked the 23 stitches and I've got one stitch left. I'm going to join in the charcoal now to work down and around the bottom. If you'd prefer to work your walrus in one colour, just continue with the colour you're using. Now to join in my charcoal, I put my hook into the last stitch 
and I put a loop over my hook and bring it through and then put the charcoal colour round my hook and take it through the loops. For row 23 I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet in the first stitch with my charcoal and then I leave the charcoal and bring up the metal grey and I work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and I'll have 27 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch with the metal grey. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 24 we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet in the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch or change to the charcoal and work one single crochet in the last stitch with it and we'll have 28 stitches. So after our two half double crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I've got one stitch left so I bring my charcoal over the top, put my hook into the last stitch and bring the charcoal through and work a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 25 I start with one chain and turn and I work a single crochet in the first stitch with the charcoal. And then 
I change to the metal grey and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and I'll have 29 stitches. So once we change to the metal grey, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. We'll change to the charcoal and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 29 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I have two stitches left so I join in my charcoal, I put my hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop of charcoal and then hook into the last stitch and bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 27 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches with my charcoal. And then I change to the metal grey. And work one single crochet 
into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 29 stitches. So once I change to the metal grey, I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll change to the charcoal and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 29 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. got two stitches left, I change to the charcoal and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 29 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches with my charcoal. Now I'm going to work over the top of my metal grey and I'm going to work nine single crochet 
using the charcoal. So one single crochet in each of the next nine stitches but I'm crocheting over the top of the metal grey. Now I'm going to change to my metal grey. I leave the charcoal attached where it is and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end using the metal grey. For row 30 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. and I work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 31 I work one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One double crochet into each of the following three stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. Now I'm going to fasten off the metal grey but I'm not going to cut it. So my cotton's quite tangled, I'll, I'll have to untangle it and then I'll pass the ball of cotton through the loop there to fasten off. But I'll just untangle it off camera. Now I've untangled my cotton. I pull the loop out and just pass 
the ball of cotton through the loop and pull it tight just to fasten that off. I'm going to use the metal grey for the neatening row so I'm going to keep it attached but I'm going to be using the charcoal so I bring up a loop so just at the end of this last row of charcoal and work one chain and I'm going to work a single crochet up around the top here and across to the end of the row one single crochet into each stitch but I'm going to work over the top of the metal grey to bring it to the end of the row so one single crochet into each stitch I'll just work into the side of that single crochet at the edge and then for those last few stitches I'll crochet over the top of the metal grey to the end of the row. And that's the seal's body done, except for a neatening row. Now I'm going to join in the metal grey and I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch up around the top to the stitch before I started the charcoal. So a single crochet in each stitch. Just find a suitable place, not too far from the edge, to put your hook and work a single crochet in each stitch. And I can cut off the charcoal now. I'll join it when I get To the part where the charcoal starts. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get just to the join there of the charcoal. I'm almost to where the charcoal starts so I put my hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop of charcoal. I just leave a little bit of a tail at the end of the charcoal and if there's any little bits of the metal grey showing through when I weave in the ends I'll stitch over the top of those so you can't see them and then I work around the rest of the row with the charcoal If you're having trouble getting the hook into a stitch with the neatening row, 
it's good to use a size or two smaller hook. Round the corner you could work two single crochet into a stitch. And at this corner here I'll work a joined single crochet over the two corner stitches, those two there. And I work a single crochet into each stitch along to the end of the charcoal. And slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. and I'll fasten the metal grey off as well and that's the body done. I'll work the muzzle next. Now for the muzzle I've got my 07 for the mercury and I start with 6 chain I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into each of the next three chain and two single crochet into the last chain for row two we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch two single crochet into the last stitch. We've got nine stitches. For row three we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our two half double crochet in the first work, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For bow four we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 11 stitches. For bow 5 we start with 3 chain and turn, we'll work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through 2 loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A single crochet into the next stitch slip stitch in the next stitch so we put our hook into the stitch bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook then a single crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and a joined double crochet over the last two stitches the same as we did at the first Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook. Hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. That's the bottom part of the muzzle done. For the top part, join two stitches back from the middle stitch, so your first back loop of the chain there. And work three chain We're going to work a joined double crochet over the four, over the next four stitches, so not the stitch with the chain. So yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take your hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got four loops on the hook, then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Take your hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got five loops on the hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the muzzle done, except for the neatening row. For the neatening row, I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch. I start with one chain, I don't turn, and 
you could work a single crochet if you'd prefer. It will just make your muzzle slightly bigger but you can work over the top of your ends that way. So either a slip stitch or a single crochet in each stitch around the muzzle. I'm just getting the, the ends caught up in my work. And when you get back to the top of the row, you fasten off. And that's the muzzle done. I'll work the nose next. For the nose, I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I work four chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet in the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms, and a single crochet in the last stitch. For row two, I start with two chain and turn and I work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, and yarn around the hook and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. I've got lots of loops on the hook, I put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the nose done except for a neatening row. I start with one chain and I work one slip stitch in each stitch around
And once I get back to the beginning of the row, I fasten off. And that's the nose done. Now, for the mouth, I'll start with my 393, the charcoal. And I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you like. I put my hook on the yarn and bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And there's my magic loop. Then I work one chain and work six single crochet into the circle. and I pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and ease it in and I fasten off. That's the middle part of the mouth done. Next I'm going to join in the metal grey. You could use the mercury if you'd prefer I just join it to the first stitch and work two chain. I work one half double crochet in that same stitch as a chain and then two half double crochet into each remaining stitch. and fasten off. And that's the mouth done. Now I'll work these tusks next. They both work the same. I've got my 106, the Snow White, and I start with 10 chain. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. One single crochet into each of the next two chain. One half double crochet into each of the following two chain. and one double crochet into each stitch to the end. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. and fasten off. And that's the first task. We'll work another one the same. We start with 10 chain.
we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into each of the next two stitches one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and one double crochet into each stitch to the end and fasten off and that's the second task for the eyes they both work the same we make a magic loop and work one chain into our circle we work one single crochet one half double crochet, one single crochet and one half double crochet. We pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the first eye done. The second eyes work the same. We make a magic loop and work one chain. Into our circle we work one single crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet and one half double crochet. We pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the second eye done. Now next I'm going to work this front flipper. I've got my 242 the metal grey and I start with 6 chain I work 1 single crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook 1 half double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the following stitch that's a treble using UK terms one half double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the last stitch that just gives it a bit of a curved top for row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 7 stitches.
For bow four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For bow five, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the seven stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For bow 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the seven stitches. For bow 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first five stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And that's that part done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and work one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'll work my neatening row and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with the charcoal and we'll do the end of the flipper. Now we join the charcoal to the bottom of the flipper. The last row worked so near the join there
and work 10 chain. We miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain. A joined single crochet over the next two chain. One single crochet into each of the next two chain. and a joined single crochet over the last two chain. And then slip stitch into the next stitch on the side and then slip stitch into the following stitch on the side and turn For row 2 we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and then work one chain quite tightly and turn slip stitch into the first stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch we work one chain Work one single crochet in that same stitch as a chain and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch slip stitch into the next stitch on the side and fasten off. And that's that front flipper done. Now for this far front flipper we find our corner stitch so this stitch here and we join three stitches back from there. So I'll join in here and work nine chain. For row one, we miss one chain and we work one single crochet into each chain to the last two chain and work a joined 
single crochet over the last two chain. And then we turn our work around and slip stitch into each of the next two stitches on the side of our work. So we're working up that way. And then we turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. For row 3 we work one chain quite tightly and turn. We work a slip stitch into each of the first two stitches. And then work two chain. Work one half double crochet into the same stitch as a chain. and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the next three stitches so hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop then hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop that was the corner and then hook into the next stitch up the side and bring up a loop then yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then we slip stitch into the next stitch on the side and fasten off and that's the fin done. Now for this black flipper we join the charcoal on the wrong side to the last stitch just in there and we work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then one half double crochet into each of the following six stitches And then we work four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet into each remaining chain, and then flip our work around and work one half double crochet into each of the first five stitches along the top there
and then work one single crochet into each remaining stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch on the body and fasten off. Now that's all the pieces worked. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's my pieces. I've got the body, the muzzle, the two tusks, two eyes, the nose, the mouth and the front flipper. The first thing I'll do is attach the tusks to the top of the mouth. Just in like that I have the centre bit showing. So I attach them just along the top there and down the centre of the tusk to the bottom of the mouth. The next thing I do is attach the bottom of the muzzle over the top of the mouth and the tusks, just in like that. Now I'll attach the muzzle to the body. The side sticks just over the edge there and I leave room to have an eye on the side of the muzzle. So just about there. Next I attach the eyes. One goes just in the side there and the other goes evenly with the first eye on the other side. I attach the nose in the top there of the muzzle and I'll attach the front flipper just in there. The last thing I do is embroider on the black eye markings. It's really just a triangle from the centre down to the bottom. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finish walrus. And there's the finished walrus. The size is 13 centimetres by 13 centimetres or 5 and a quarter inches by 5 and a quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.